Oh god. Oh. Uh, what? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. that you're up. Navigate her through the darkness. And don't you worry, I'll take care of you. But first, we have a mission to do. So let's return and take you home. First, you need to find me. Just look for a I'm a goddess living in their water. The lady of the lake. In the night, keep your eyes open. Don't trust anybody except me. Your systems are rebooting now. You don't have much time. You have to be able to reach out again. took an excessive amount of time, last one. More than our protocols foresaw. I would blame that malfunctional belt of yours. Yet you seem fully operational now. Go, and start paying your debt. What? I'm not dead? I had this horrible nightmare and it felt so real. Hallucinations are a perfectly normal symptom of a long sleep of the Ascended. So, how can I know you're not a hallucination yourself? Who are you, anyway? I am Maltis, Patriarch of the Keepers. We will explain everything in good time. Come back later if you have questions. Now, we need you to cooperate. Cooperate? Yes. You will proceed to Tobias for training. Like, now? I mean, everything is still a little fuzzy. I would appreciate some time to... We would appreciate your immediate compliance. Without perfecting your hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, you will be doomed to perpetual death, which... Hold on there. What? Perpetual death? Indeed. You bear the gift of immortality, hence... Immortality? So... I can't die? If you'd allow me to finish, you would have already known. No. You die ordinarily. Oh. Then you are born again. Such is the power of the belt you carry. We are analyzing it, and don't have validated outputs to share with you yet. What? That's all you have to say here? Yes. Now go and meet Tobias already. My servant will show you the way. Oh, just one more thing before you go. We shall call you Silver. Our regular naming proto- what? No, my name is... Oh, shit. I honestly have no idea. Yet we do. Silver was the only name available on your Christum. The naming protocol says it will have to suffice. I would much rather pick my name... Enough. We won't bend the principles that keep our world in order. But... Humans. Always disrespectable of the habits and cultures of others. The rat company will suit you. Hey, you rat.
Can't you see they're obviously getting a raw deal here? Well, they're rats. Nobody's gonna cook for them. Ha ha ha. Funny. You know that's most likely why he was stealing food in the first place. Where is your sense of justice? Are you really trying to give me a sense of justice talk? Because I did the right thing and reported a theft? Why can't you be rational about this? I honestly think we have enough of our own problems here. Like finding our spaceship and getting out of here. Oh, so now you are suddenly sure we have a spaceship? Well, no, but it's only logical. We couldn't have just appeared here out of thin air. L um, hello? Like that guy. Great to meet you, man. Ah, sorry, my manners. It's Brian. Silver, likewise. It's comforting to know that I'm not alone in this mess. You're not. I'm Petra. Silver. Well, Silver, now you know everyone worth knowing around here. Oh, come on. Marco? K True, he is a bit of an a-hole, but he's one of us. Great. Well, tell me everything. That spaceship, for instance. Honestly, we don't know much either. We all got the same briefing. Go and start paying your debt. Training. Now. <laughs> same for you? That's actually pretty accurate. Right, so you'd really better go now. If Tobias sees us delaying your training session, he will get pretty pissed. Brian is right. They take things quite seriously around here. But let's talk later. Tobias won't talk to you forever. Can't wait. Well, let's do this. See you soon, guys. See you, Silver. I'll be somewhere far away from this prejudiced hypocrite. Oh, come on. Can't we just... Hey. Hey, stranger. Sorry about Brian. How did the training go? How are you feeling? Happy to be immortal? And what do you make of all this? Whoa, can we take those one at a time? I'm still kind of trying to figure this place out. Oh yes, sorry. I know I can be a bit too much sometimes. <laughs> but hey, no worries. I know that feeling all too well. What do you remember? For me, there was light. And then this ugly, mushy face of some kind, then a fast flash, or maybe a reflection. And pain. And that's it. All my memories. Super hazy. How about you? Yeah, I remember some woman screaming, and then something killed me, I guess. Sounds a bit similar to yours, actually. Which is weird. That Maltus guy told me that mine was only a hallucination. Maybe a collective one, then. <laughs> No, I am serious. This might mean he knows more than he says. Well, he surely knows more, but he's also not telling. Believe me, I have tried. I guess that's the real reason the Whiteys call themselves the Keepers. <laughs> Maybe I'll go and ask him. Well, have fun. Good news, though. He probably won't kill you. I mean, just for asking. <laughs> probably, yeah. He won't get his hands dirty. He has Tobias for killing us softly. At least we can't really die now. Well, that's also something I'm still quite lost about. Could you tell me a bit more about how this immortality thing works? Yeah, I wish I could. So far, it's only the things I've learned the hard way. You die, you get revived. I have no idea why that happens and how. I also know it's the reason why the training in this place sucks so much. They don't spare us, and dying over and over isn't exactly fun. I can imagine. I felt like shit when I woke up. Yeah, and as far as I can tell, there is no way to remove that thing or turn it off. The tech behind it must be fascinating. I would love to have some time alone with decent power tools and an immortal volunteer. You know, do a full disassembly. Interested? Full disclosure, I'm not sure if the reassembly would be possible, since you might be dead, so... No hard feelings. I'll find someone one day. <laughs> well, that's all I know. But I don't remember much in general.
Well, I'm also quite blank when it comes to what happened before I woke up. Not a single bit of useful memories you could share? Oh, not really, no. The Keepers must think I'm dumb as a rock. Funny, because my name Petra actually means rock in... Latin, I know. Oh, yes, right. I'm impressed. So, what's the story with your name? I mean, Silver. Seriously? They say that's what I had written on me. Bit tacky, but it's growing on me. Well, honestly, I kind of dig it. It's much cooler than Petra. Probably cooler than the names of everybody else. Ah, yes. Everybody else. Any gossip I should catch on with? Well, you've pretty much met everyone. It's mostly me and Brian. And no worries. Normally he doesn't have his head all the way up his ass. You'll get along just fine. Unlike with the asshole Marco, he's just the worst. I would keep away from him if I were you. Why? I honestly think he's lost his marbles. He has super reflexes and is a fast learner. I must give him that. That's why he quickly became a bit of a teacher's pet. And because Maltus gave him some fancy swords, he now thinks he's something better. And he's totally eyeing that magic wand Tobias has. <laughs> yeah, a magic wand. Sure. Of course, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a rod, some kind of advanced tech. Project some kind of lightning. Haven't seen anything quite like it. Would love to spend a little time with it in the shop. You can get a peek in that weird shriney place right behind Tobias. Whatever makes it tick, it's a pretty damn effective weapon. Marco has only found himself on the wrong end of it so far during the practice sessions with Tobias. But he is literally dying to get his hands on it first, since he was the first one here. Ah, interesting. So, how long have you been here? Just a few weeks, pretty much like everybody else. Marco got here just a few days earlier. I have no idea how long the Whiteys want to keep us here, but they seem a bit stressed the last few days. So I guess something's about to go down. What would that be? Honestly, no idea. Maybe that vague ascension thing they keep mentioning? Maybe a war? Who knows? I just hope we'll make it out in one piece. Did you try running away? The security in this place seems to be, well, just some thick walls, not even thick-headed guards. What would be the point? We have talked about it with Brian. We don't know anything about this planet yet. And if somebody is willing to teach us something useful for free and feed us in the process... How do you know they're not just using you? Well, Brian believes they aren't. I have my doubts, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Don't get me wrong, it's not exactly a holiday camp, and I absolutely hate training. But it seems like the only reasonable thing to do in this situation. Did a pest problem get out of hand around here? I have never seen rats this big. Are they walking on their hind legs all the time? They are fascinating, right? They keep to themselves, nice and obedient, perfect servants. I believe the Whiteys are just abusing them. I mean, they might not be super smart. Who? Whiteys? No, rats, you silly. <laughs> anyway, they sure do have feelings, and I believe they should be treated with greater dignity. So this is what that quarrel with Brian was about? Yeah, he just doesn't understand. What's wrong with you men, anyway? He's simply happy to butcher them by the dozens. Well, I do believe in animal rights, so... They are not animals, Silver. There's something more. I'm trying to figure out if they're a domesticated natural species, or if they were genetically engineered to be this tame. And? My guess is natural. Who would breed such things? It's just a hunch, though. No scientific backing for my hypothesis. If you find out anything yourself, I'm all ears. This might sound weird, but I kind of like you, so I will just give it my best shot. Oh, <laughs> I'm all ears. Well, any ladies around here? Ouch! <laughs> you mean apart from me? Well, that came out wrong, didn't it? I had this vision, you know. There was this, I don't know, entity called itself Lady of the Lake. 
Oh, like from the old legends? Yeah, but she looked all shiny, like some sort of robot. Huh, shiny. Yeah, curious. I mean, no. Doesn't really ring a bell. And I haven't heard the Whiteys talking about any ladies, nor lakes. Well, never mind. The message was all distorted anyway. Noisy, grainy and glitchy. Didn't make any sense. That's strange. Maybe there's something wrong with your belt then. Curious that you'd bring that up. That's also what Maltus said. But how would the belt and the vision be connected? Uh, me and my technical brain. Always jumping to conclusions. Just forget I said anything. It's probably nonsense anyway. Right. I guess when it comes to ladies, you're stuck with me. <laughs> yeah, ladies and their secrets. What's with the training then? Are they going to throw us in a pit and make us fight? My imagination is really running wild here. Well, sort of. <laughs> we would make for mean pit fighters. No pity for us, since we can't die and whatnot. <laughs> Now you've got me worried a bit more. Nah, keep your cool. It's not that bad, once you get used to it. That sorry old guy there, that's Tobias. He teaches us how to fight with different cold weapons. Honestly, I have no idea why. He doesn't even seem to be enjoying it. Maybe you'll have better luck asking him yourself? Hey, man, sorry about that little show with Petra. Women, you know, all fragile and whatnot. Normally, we're, we're really tight, you know. Hey, no worries. I'm not here to judge you. Great. Honestly, I feel enough pressure already. Anyway, I suppose you have plenty of questions. Yeah. Too bad, because I don't have many answers. I guess the Keepers do, Moltis and his boys. But they prefer to keep for themselves. So... I just focus on the training. <laughs>